In Bali Beauty is a manufacturer, franchisor and retailer of skincare products and services. It was formerly known as Skinwell and has a market cap of 8.4 million rand. Price to earnings ratio of 43 currently pays no dividends. Mm. Paul. Yeah, we include this one because they are fairly and squarely in this sort of salon space in the malls. They own Plasticol, Dream Nails and a couple of other brands. They I thought also a friend of yours heads it up. Yes, exactly. Esla, Esna Colain is her name. Is that yeah. why we actually include Yes, always. We must put our friends on TV. So uh, it's a company which used to be called Plasticol and then it was Skinwell and now it's in Bali. Look, to be honest, they've had a lot of work to be done early on in the sort of expansion phase and when they listed back in 06, 07, it was really happy days and they were opening stalls all over the place. It's had a lot of uh, work done and it's really now only crawling back to appropriate levels of profitability. ESNA works very hard at you know, working out where they need to be and what sort of brands they need to have. But I think their profit rebound has been a little bit disappointing. So it's not yet out of the woods. I think ESNA has to keep on grinding out there in the malls. Daniel, what do you think of this model? Uh, look, I think it's, I think it's a difficult model. Uh, difficult model. And I think it's a particularly uh, difficult model because at the risk of repeating myself 100 times, I think the consumer is a bit strained. So wi while there is a lipstick effect, I think that's more focused on walking into a mall and buying lipstick rather than walking in and getting a facial or getting your nails done. I'm not saying that you won't do that, but you'll be likely to, you, you will be more likely to be watching the bills um, in, this, in this environment. Paul in Bali Beauty, are you ready to call hot or not? Look, they also have competitors out there. Sorbet has been a huge success in that particular market. And then you have all those Dermalogica uh, studios and so on. So it's a tough business and it's also driven quite heavily by specials and coupons and that kind of thing. But I do like the space and I do like the management team. And you like your friend. But it's tiny. Here it is. It's got a 43 million market cap. So it's so too small. I'd call it hot if it were not for the size of it. So unfortunately not hot. And Daniel? I'd say it's risky and tiny, so I'd say not hot.